Understanding Frightened, a guide to expressing fear in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a word that describes a feeling we've all experienced, being frightened. We'll explore what it means, how to use it in different contexts, and we'll share some tips on how to express this emotion in English. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your language skills, this video is for you. So, let's get started. Frightened is an adjective that describes the feeling of being afraid or scared. It's a strong emotion that you feel when you believe you are in danger or when you are worried about something. For example, you might say, I am frightened of the dark, or she was frightened by the loud noise. Now, let's see how we can use frightened in various sentences. When talking about yourself, I'm frightened to walk home alone at night. When expressing concern for someone else, are you frightened to be here? Describing a general situation, the haunted house looked frightening. Remember, you can also use frightened to describe an immediate reaction or a lasting feeling. There are many ways to express fear in English. Here are a few similar words and phrases. I'm scared of spiders. He is afraid of flying. They were terrified by the movie. These phrases all mean that someone is experiencing fear, although terrified is often used to indicate a higher level of fear than scared or afraid. It's also helpful to know the opposite of frightened, which is unafraid or fearless. For example, despite the danger, the firefighters were fearless. She is unafraid of taking risks. Understanding the opposite can help you better understand the full context of fear-related discussions. Learning about emotions in English isn't just about memorizing words, it's about understanding them in context. Here are a few tips to help you. Watch movies or read books in English to see how characters express fear. Try to use new words in conversation to get comfortable with them. Practice writing sentences or short stories to describe situations that make you frightened. We hope this video helps you understand and use the word frightened more confidently in English. Fear is a universal emotion, and being able to express it is an important part of communicating effectively. Keep practicing, and you'll soon find that talking about your feelings in English is less frightening than you thought. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language learning videos. See you next time.